Yamana Gold is a Canadian-based gold producer with mines and operations in Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. The Chapada Open Pit Gold Copper Mine in Brazil began production in 2007. Mines worldwide are facing key challenges in these type of projects which are focusing on overall flotation performance and recovery. Because of changes in the operation as well as all characteristics, the equipment is no longer working at optimal and are working outside its design criteria. This means that valuable minerals are lost to tailings and the performance of the overall concentrator decreases. In addition, the older equipment requires more maintenance and is more energy consuming. This means that operating costs tend to increase. Shutdowns are costly and therefore very time critical. The shorter we can make the project, the better is the impact. Metallurgical sampling and laboratory tests are crucial steps to understand the flotation process performance. Therefore evaluate the improvement potential. Here at Autotech, we have developed a mobile lab cell, which allows us to perform laboratory flotation tests right there at the mine site. This speeds up the process, brings savings, and is especially useful in time-critical projects where there is urgency to evaluate the fault in the process. We have implemented this method worldwide in multiple projects. In mid-2015, a senior manager responsible for business development at Yamana was seeking ways to further improve the flotation circuit. He came across the Autotech Float Force Value Calculator, which is an online tool that enabled him to evaluate the monetary benefits of a flotation retrofit project. This convinced him to contact Autotech and continue discussion. The same year, Autotech had delivered a new courier on-stream analyzer, which enabled Yamana operators to detect that they were losing a significant amount of valuable minerals to tailings. Yamana was also looking for a partner to continuously improve their operations, at the beginning of the project, Autotech completed an in-depth metallurgical assessment of the rougher scavenger flotation circuit, and we identified a large potential for improvement in the flotation plant, which could positively impact on the overall copper and gold recoveries. An on-site mechanical assessment with advanced laser 3D scanning was implemented by Autotech in cooperation with Yamana to find out all the required technical details for the installation and shutdown planning. The evaluation demonstrated the improvement capability and the project move on to develop a solution together to solve Yamana's operational challenges in the flotation circuit. In March 2016, Autotech began retrofitting 10 existing 160 cubic meter non-Autotech flotation cells with Autotech tank cell and float force technology. The project scope included computational fluid dynamics, basic and detailed engineering, shutdown planning, delivery of proprietary equipment, turnkey installation, commissioning, assisted operation and advanced virtual experience training of the on-site personnel. The steel works and tanks were manufactured in Autotech's workshop in Guadapari, Brazil, which gave additional benefits and flexibility to this project. Autotech offered a turnkey project delivery, taking care of logistics, disassembly and removal of the old equipment, installation and mechanical completion of new cells, implementation and commissioning phases, startup of the flotation cells in cooperation with Yamana's personnel with slurry. Process testing was done in cooperation with Yamana process experts. The shutdown took place in two phases, one line of five flotation cells at a time. This meant that the process was able to continue with half the equipment operational at all times as a reduction of production loss was of the utmost importance to the customer, Autotech developed a concept with the target to minimize the shutdown period. With this concept and the full solution, including demolition, installation and commissioning and shutdown process know-how, Autotech was able to add value to the customer. During the project, Autotech provided a container-based warehouse with full gear and auxiliary equipment. This is part of our full project delivery scope one aspect that the customer does not need to worry about during the project. All installation and commissioning personnel were provided by Autotech. In total, more than 80 Autotech representatives implemented the modernization in day and night shifts. Extremely strict safety procedures were carried out to ensure the safety of customers and Autotech personnel. 
the project was completed with zero accidents. Simulator-based virtual experience training was arranged for Yamana's process operators, shift foremen, metallurgists, preventative maintenance team, automation and laboratory personnel. Virtual experience is an efficient, realistic and risk-free training environment that helps to gain hands-on operational experience and train on rarely occurring process events. Three two-day sessions were arranged for 25 Yamana participants. The training covered process operation with forced air, balancing rougher and cleaner operation, variations in ore feed grades and particle size distribution. The project was executed on time and the shutdown of the second flotation bank was actually significantly shorter than planned. Six out of 11 days were used. Our cooperation continues by deep bottlenecking other parts of the process to ensure peak performance of the whole plant can be achieved.